Hello and welcome to a Fleet Ops Commentary by Clint Sat. We've got a pretty exciting game today for you. It's on Duel 2 1.2 and our, I'm going to introduce you to the players here. At the top here you see the white, or the, the white board that is old time pro, new player who has uh, come on in the scene and uh, played some pretty good games. Uh, we've noticed that his micro is just excellent. Looks like he's doing the standard Borg things. Uh, expect to see a couple miners, conduction matrix, and his opponent down at the bottom is the Red Dominion, played by Fallout. Fallout is a, a great player, a really good 1v1 player. Um, just excellent awareness of what's going on and um, can really throw some ships at you. So um, this is the newest Duel 2 and couple differences you'll note. Uh, we can just barely see it over here, but they've changed the nebulas here so that uh, you can fly through them, but uh, you're not going to take any damage this time. You're actually just going to lose some shields. Uh, makes it a little easier for players like this uh, board player to sneak ships through, get away, force these Dominion ships to drop their shields if they want to chase. So down here at the bottom looks like uh, standard Dominion start, one yard, mining going up, and in a second we'll be able to tell what kind of avatar this guy is. Really looking to see some, looks like some Breen cruisers. We've got a, Got a brain avatar here, the Borg, checking up the miner, it is optimized. So, um, pretty good scouting here by Fallout. He's got his scout right up next to the Dilithia moon. Should be able to see what's going on here. Uh, something that players like to do is check just to see what kind of research happens from this conduction matrix, just to make sure they're not going to get skew brushed. Looks like Fallout is putting up some S2. It's a great counter to most Borg ships. Uh, short range but has a nasty torpedo that will just rip apart many of the uh, later game Borg ships. Let's see what's going on here. Both players just setting up. Um, taking a look at the mini-map. Looks like Fallout is moving to his expansion. He sent it out uh, a worker to go get that going. And looks like he's churning out a lot of a lot of miners. Little scout attack action here. Always great to see. Uh, definitely a little psychological game. Very annoying. You know you're not going to kill anything, but you just hate to hear that warning going off. And oh, we see a technology lab going up, so expect to see some larger Dominion ships. And at the same time, checking up here on the mini map, we see that uh, Old Time is expanding. Speaking to his left natural expansion, looks like he's sending out a couple of his miners. And it's interesting that uh, he decided to do one miner per moon and send his other two out to the expansion. We'll see how that works out for him. Should be a little bit less uh, resource, but you know he will have the advantage of being spread out a little harder to stop his mining completely. We also see scoops going up. One scoop. And... Down at the bottom, would you look at that? We Fallout captured is the, uh, the Borg Scout, and this is something that uh, definitely could be annoying. If you're not paying attention, you're, you're going to lose that Scout. And this will provide a pretty good advantage for Fallout, as it's very important to have Scouting when you're playing with the, uh, as the Borg. Uh, he's going to want to know if Fallout switches to some larger ships, he's going to go bombers, or um, continue with these S2s. Borg ships seem to have naturally smaller uh, visual radius, so definitely going to put a damper on him. But it <laughs> looks like old time is uh, going after this scout here. He says, you take mine, I'm going to take yours. And look how fast that scout cube is. I think he's going to catch him. I think he's going to catch him. Let's see if he beams on. Oh, he's going to get away. Let's check out the Dominion expansion, uh, standard 
Standard expansion here. Looks like he's going for Dilithium at the beginning. I would have expected to see a yard here. I'm kind of surprised that there's uh, there's no yard. And maybe that we're waiting on some resources here. It looks like Fallout needs a, a little bit more Dilithium before he can start up a yard. Also seems to be a little low on Tritanium, so kind of curious to see um, if that forces him to put a few more miners out there. Still seeing solid S2. Solid S2 It's not definitely uh, not a bad choice. Uh, should be able to push off this scout queue pretty easily. I think we can see the prototype out there. Yeah, he knows he's going to get his try hit, so he's just ready and waiting. Got a probe head in there as well. Um, should be able to put some pressure, but again, I don't know if it's going to be able to uh, do a lot of damage. Those sturdy Dominion miners uh, just don't take just don't take enough damage from one ship. And notice this is a uh, beam scube. Um, beam scube got a little bit of extra defense against beams. Uh, not going to be that great that great um, against these two S2s uh, with their torpedo damage. But um, it does force this one back. Uh, Prototype's going to get away pretty safely. Um, notice how much damage it does do to the uh, <laughs> to the S2, um, despite the fact it's splitting fire in, in many cases. Um, S2s are a little bit weak to short range, so if he's not careful, he may lose that. Well, interesting choice. Looks like we're going to try to take that um, S2. I'm not sure that he's going to be able to get away with it. Uh, only two ships here, and S2s have surprisingly a large number of crew. 125 crew, that's, um, that's enough to safely get back to the yard. Yeah, wisely pulling back. Uh, he should be able to get away. Don't think this S2 is going to pursue too far. Um, you can also see the fallout has started supply mining. Um, that's pretty good. I'm guessing he hasn't bought supply yet, for, so this is a little bit earlier than many players do, but um, not a bad deal. Um, over on this side, you can see that uh, Old Time decided he was going to try to attack in two places. This is something that um, we've seen him do a couple times. He might get this miner here. Uh, looks like that is another beam skew. And a probe, yeah, and this, this is fairly, uh, relatively undefended, so uh, he may be able to get away with this. And uh, at the same time he's attacking here, he's counting on those S2 to run up, look like they are right there, those three. So he's going to come back down here and put some pressure, definitely going to keep Fallout on his toes. Uh, be curious to see if he can get out. With that skew, but it, it is uh, pretty fast, the S2 are awful darn fast as well. Um, and with this yard coming up, it's going to be a little hard for him to get out, or to uh, get a kill off at least. Yep, I'm not sure he's going to get him to cancel, and I think that's what he was hoping he'd be able to do. So Skew made it, made it away. Uh, looks like he's going to come back a little bit just to try to keep the pressure on him. And down here, um, doing a little bit of damage. Uh, it looks like that miner that they were hitting got away. Uh, but it's pretty generally being disruptive. And if he can uh, keep some of these harassment units alive uh, into the late game, we'll definitely give him an advantage. Uh, Dodecahedron going up. Interesting choice here. Um, the Dodecahedron is long range support vessel. Uh, Pretty, uh, pretty effective. You can also turn him into turrets depending upon what module he has set. Um, will take increased damage from these S2. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Great use of that nebula. Uh, Fallout said he didn't care. He's going to lose the shields. He's going to try to get this kill. Um, to be honest, that's a great decision. Uh, that, that one scube just cannot put out enough damage to take out these, take out these S2. And down at the bottom, it uh, looks like probe by itself uh, skew got away so th this is the downfall of the of the Borg um, he's got a lot of ships out he's been done a good job of keeping most of them alive but they're all damaged and it will take a while for him to get those uh, get those back into fighting shape see another dode going up this dode here is, uh, looks like it's an intercept region, so not a bad choice for doing some damage. Will not be able to turn into a turret. 
And you know, I you know, I think um, it would be pretty neat to see a doe turret come up maybe right around here, just out of range of this um, of the stations, uh, or I guess I guess in range, but just just set up so that um, they could do some damage to these and really be an annoyance. Um, S2s making a raid. Really putting some pressure on the Borg here, but uh, the the choice that Oltai made of setting up one miner on each of these different moons spread out, uh, I think will it will be a benefit to help keep the some of these alive. He doesn't have to worry about losing too many miners at once. We'll see if he gets this one out or pulls it out. Got more harassment at the bottom. You see this uh, dude is. They're putting some putting some damage out on him. Uh, still not sure if there's enough DPS here to, to pull out, take out a miner, but we'll be distracting at least to, to fall out. Down at the bottom, you see that old times uh, Tritania miner went down to try to escape those S2 and found a supply station. I wonder if he's going to come back later and try to take that out. Some more fighting up here at the. Dominion's right expansion. Um, looks like they pushed off one miner. Um, did have some dilithium, so that does it does mean that that is slowing down the Dominion just a tiny bit. And look at that! Wow, C11. <laughs> you don't see those every day. Interesting choice. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what the plan here with this is. Um, it's just a prototype, and oh, I've got several out. I'm not sure if Fallout is getting a little cocky or has some sort of uh, evil plan. He might be looking to extend the range of some of his ships. Uh, could be looking to try to use that special on the Dodes. Uh, that would be pretty awesome to see. I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure how much damage a, a C11 could do to a, a Dode with uh, Cascade Feedback. Maybe we'll see. A little, a little damage here on this Miner. Not uh, this guy's not gonna make it out, but he is keeping these. He's keeping those three S2 busy. Yep, got a little Borg strike fleet here, and see uh, that uh, that lack of repair definitely hurting those ships there. Not uh, not being able to send them back to the yard and repair really makes it harder for the Borg to keep sustained pressure. But I will give old time credit. He is definitely all over the map. Definitely all over the map. Yeah, but not getting the kills. Just not getting the kills. Solid S2 there. Solid C11. Still putting some pressure up here. Will they get this? Will they get this down? So Oh, just a little bit more. Mm. But wow, look at this. C11's. At... It does have the energy beacon. Went down. And there's. I think that's your first board kill. Look how fast those C11's go down. Yeah. Oh, there's a probe down. But I think these two are going to get away. This Dode. Looks like he's going to meet up with his friends here. And I think that the Dominion is going to go back and repair. Uh, great micro. Great micro. Oh, we see an adapter here. Uh, interesting choice. It's going to deal a decent amount of damage to these, these ships here when it does hit. Uh, Fallout is using mostly... Uh, destroyers here. Uh, looks like pretty much all destroyers, and that will uh, that will mean that we're not going to see as many uh, torpedo hits here. Uh, looks like there's a little scout scout stealing here. Not sure if he's going to get it. He oh, he did. 